Let us recite Shri Ganesha Mantra four times. Requesting him to give his innocence and positivity and seek his permission to start this morning meditation and to allow us to raise our mother kundalini om tameva sakshat shri ganesha sakshat shri adi shakti mataji shri nirmala devi namo namaha Om Kameva Saksha Shri Ganesha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Kameva Saksha Shri Ganesha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Om Kameva Saksha Shri Ganesha Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Let us all bow down and raise our Kundalini collectively, taking a bandham. Keeping both our hands on Mother Earth, let us recite Sri Adi Bhumi Devi Mantra once. Om Tameva Saksha Sri Adi Bhumi Devi Saksha Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devya Namo Namaha Om 
ओ मदर नेचर ओ आदि शक्ति वी सीक फॉरगिवनेस ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी मदर प्लीज फॉरगिव ऑल द रॉन्ग टू विंग्स and guide to live in a better way a sustainable way in a way so that we build a better tomorrow for the generations to come may we respect you and never forget that we do nothing everything which is alive is because of you o shri mata ji please bless us so that we can get out of this attention of the dead things श्री माता जी प्लीज रिमूव दिस टैंगल्स ऑफ मटीरियलिज्म एंड मे आर अटेंशन ऑलवेज बी सरेंडर्ड टूवर्ड्स द लिविंग slowly moving our attention to muladhar chakra right hand on lap moving our attention to left muladhar left hand on lap right hand on mother earth reminding ourselves that we are innocent that is our innate nature shri nirmal ganesha sakshat साक्षात्मल गणेश साक्षात्दिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देव्य नमो नम other i am innocent
Moving our attention to center Muladha. Right hand on lap. We request mother to please make me innocent. Sri Ganesha Gauri Sakshat. Om Pameva Sakshat Sri Ganesha Gauri Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha O Shri Ganesha, O Mother Gauri, please make me innocent. Moving our attention to right Muladha. Left hand on Mother Earth. We request Sri Kartikeya to please make me worthy of Mother's appreciation and love. Sri Kartikeya Sakshat. Om Pameva Sakshat Shri Kartikeya Sakshat Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Now requesting mother to destroy all the negativities which are prevalent 
inside and outside. And make my muladhar very healthy and strong. Sarvarakshasa Hantri. Om Tameva Sakshat Sarvarakshasa Hantri Sakshat. Shri Adi Shakti Mataji, Shri Nirmala Devyai Namo Namaha. Mother, please destroy all the evil. Slowly, we take our left hand back on our lap. We can feel that our Muladhar Chakra is now much healthier and strong. And we feel the blessings of Sri Ganesha. Now we move our attention towards Swadishtana, Nadhi and Bhavasagar. We listen to this bhajan, Sri Guru Ashtakam, and meditate on this region.
Continuing this state of meditation and keeping our attention on this area. We continue listening to the talk we were listening yesterday. That was in Switzerland in 1988. Shri Mataji is talking about Graha Lakshmi principle. Let us listen to her, try to imbibe her words and request the Graha Lakshmi principle to be present in all of us. vegetables are available in the market what should I get what is the best I mean I'm not their guru I'm not their uh, mother I'm just a relation but they want to express their love through the food they are the giver of food another they are the Annapuras and this is one of the qualities the generosity of a woman doesn't have she is not a surgeon by any chance, take it from. 
husband may be little miserly, doesn't matter. The, but wife has to be very generous and sometimes she secretly gives money, not to her own children but to others. Such beautiful women have to be there in Sahaja Yoga. But I feel so sorry sometimes that the attack comes from the women of Sahaja Yogi, not from the men on Me, I am a woman Myself. I feel shocked that the women should attack Me like this, for what? In Sahaja Yoga there is no domination of any kind. But all this so-called idea of servility and domination comes from the false ideas you have about your own dignity, about your own understanding. You are not aware of yourself. You do not know that you are the Queen, nobody can dominate you. Who can dominate? The lady who rules the household? If supposing the husband says, I don't like this colour, all right, leave it for a while. Then somebody will come say, what a nice colour, he'll say, ah, such a nice colour, oh, don't change it. The woman must understand the men, they are, they are, they have big eyes, they are not microscopic. They see everything in a big way, you see. So today they'll say something, tomorrow they'll forget about it. And they have, don't have microscope, they are, they are to above these things, they are above these things, you must understand them as they are. But if he sits on the horse, I must also sit on the horse and fall down. If he goes for skiing, I'll also go for skiing. If he develops his muscles, I'll also develop my muscles. It is coming to that point. I mean, Women start looking like nothing on earth, you don't know what sort of women these are with big, big muscles, you without any moustaches. <laughs> so, this kind of stupid ideas we have. But there is no subordination of any kind, you are subordinated to your own dignity, to your own chastity, to your, your sense of honour, and above all to your righteousness because you are in charge of that, the man who is in charge has to look after that side. How many quarrels you create, how can you be quarrelsome when you are supposed to become the peacemaker? Supposing we send two peacemakers to some country to make peace and they cut each other's throat, what will you say to such thing? You are the one who has to smooth down everything. You have the one who has to bring such expression of love, such sweet things, that the family itself feels rested in you, secured in you, because you are the mother. The family must feel secured within you. And this love is your power. This is your power that you can give love. And giving love, you will find, you will always enrich yourself. I mean, imagine what presents I give compared to what I get, I don't know, I'll have to build another house. I'm telling them, don't give me individual presents, I will not take any individual presents. Now, still, despite that, I don't know. Just with love if I get something, with care. That love, you know, it self-manifests and comes back to you like a poetry. You are sometimes surprised. I'll give you one simple example of my own life which will tell you how love can work it out. I was a housewife to begin with and to end with, I think. And once uh, I was in Delhi, my daughter was to be born, so I was making some, I was knitting something for her, sitting outside in the lawn. When three persons walked into the house, one lady and two men, and they came and said, see now we are housewives, uh, I'm a housewife and these two are, one is my husband and he's the friend of my husband and he's a Muslim. 
and we have come to you for shelter because we are refugees. I looked at them, they looked very good to me, they were quite all right. I said, all right, you please settle down in my house. So I gave them the outside room, which had a kitchen and a bathroom and this thing. And for the gentleman, I said, there's another spare room, you can stay there and husband and wife can stay. In the evening, my brother came in, he started shouting at the top of his voice. He said, what is this? You don't know these people, they may be thieves, they may be this, they might do this. And then he joined my, my husband came, he also joined him because, you see, they were friends. He told you, <laughs> all men just the same, you see. So he said, you see, she doesn't understand, she's kept these three persons here, who God knows what they are, they are seeing refugees, this thing. She doesn't know, he's a Muslim, he's a Hindu, God knows she's two husbands, one husband, like that, you see, all kinds of things. <laughs> Next morning they forgot about it. I said, all right, let them be there for one night, is all right? I can't drive them out today, one night. Next morning they forgot that they were living. That's like men. First day, such a blasting, such a blasting, I said, all right, one night. Now don't shout, they'll feel hurt. So let them say, one night, they stood down. Next morning they went away, for their work, they had no time. It was, uh, uh, you see, only on a weekday they become active in the household, otherwise they're inactive. So they went away. It so happened that they, these people stayed with me for one month. Then this lady got a job and she went away with her, uh, her husband and this Muslim. But in the meanwhile, there was a big riot in Delhi, very big riot, because many uh, uh, Hindus and Sikh people were killed in Punjab. It had a reflection in Delhi and they started killing all the Muslims. So three, four Sikh people and one or two Hindus came to my house and they said, we are told that you have a Muslim staying with you. I said, no, how can I have? I said, there is a Muslim, we have to kill him. I said, see, I'm wearing such a big tikka. Can you believe it, that I could have a Muslim in the house? They thought I must be a real Hindu fanatic, you see. <laughs> so, they believed me. I said, see now, if you have to go in my house, you'll go on my dead body. I will not allow you. So they felt quite frightened, they went away. So this fellow heard my things and he came and he said, I'm surprised, how did you risk your life? I said, there's nothing, nothing, his life was safe. Now this gentleman, this Muslim gentleman became a great poet called Shahir Ludhiani. And this lady became a great actress. Kind of answer this? The one uh, who used to act like a mother. Huh? Ah, such a day, Achala such a day. I knew it was they had become one day and all that, but I didn't tell anybody about it. I said, now supposing they came to know I am in Bombay, they will just go mad about me and I said, I have no time for all that. So, we started a film, a center for the young people to give them some good films, but it all made it into a farce later on. They never listened to me, but whatever it is. So, they said that we should get this Achala Sajdev to act as a mother. I said, all right, but don't tell her I have said, I have anything to do with it. So it's a, years had passed, about after, I think, 12 years or so. So they went and told her, so she was fussing like an actress, no, no, how much are you going to pay me? I cannot act free, everybody will ask for free, then how can I give you free? You'll have to give me a sari, you'll have to give so much money, this thing. They said, all right, come to the Muhurat at least, come to the Muhurat to the beginning of so big Muhurat is the one where you started. So she came and I was there, she looked at me. I just, you know, she couldn't believe that she'd seen me after twelve years. The tears started rolling her eyes. Absolutely, she couldn't say anything, just she came and fell into my arms. And she said, where were you last? All these days I've been trying to dress you out. And she, and she started describing me, you know, then Shai Ludhiani was there and he said that how this lady is here, he said, this is her work. Oh God, why didn't you tell us, you see, we'll give our lives for her. And they were all amazed how they were changed. She said, no money, nothing, I'm going to give money for this project, nothing doing. See now, I was a housewife, 
just an ordinary housewife. I didn't have so many uh, rights on my husband's property or anything, and my brother, another dominating fellow, both of them put together, just were about to kill me that night with their temper and anger. I shoot them down. And then, you know, when I told my husband and my brother, they were amazed. I said, they are the ones who have become like this. And see the change, how much they have. And then they said, no more we are going to say no to any charitable institution. This is the last mistake we have committed. And the whole, the whole idea of a, uh, earning and money and this and that just dropped down. And she has acted in many films for charity. And this Ludhiana, we also wrote many things for charity. So a woman can make a man a charitable personality, because she herself is charitable. She has so many beautiful... She is an artist. And she can create beauty around her, in her household, in her family, in our society, everywhere. But no, women want to fight like men. They will have associations. They will have, uh, what do you call that? Labor Sakasta? Kya banate labor look? Kya bana? Unions, unions. They would like to have unions to fight for their rights. I agree that some of the men have been extremely cruel, some of the laws are extremely cruel, this thing, that thing, and that they have to be told. But this is not the way. There is another way of improving these men who try to destroy the women. Because women... Women have one very great quality, that ganas are with them. We will continue to listen to this talk in the days to come. Now let us keep our left hand on our right Swadishta. Sri Mataji, I do nothing. Verily, you are the doer and you are the enjoyer, Mother. I surrender my attention to your lotus feet. Slowly moving our attention to the Agya Chakra.
let us say hum sham seven times we can cover our agya chakra with both our hands if we like hum sham hum sham hum sham hum sham Oh mother please rule this brain i am not this ego or super ego let us join our hands and thank mother for this invaluable knowledge and for the self realization let us raise our kundalini and take a vandan collectively Thank you everyone for your vibrational support this morning. May you have a blessed day. Jai Shri Mata ji.